let us see some uh, important questions on power electronic devices so this will be helpful for be btech students mtech students then those who are preparing for gate exam and other competitive exam so the first question is which one is the most suitable power electronic device for high frequency application so if it is uh, specified as high frequency application it means it is always power mosfet so this you can uh, see from the this diagram you see here it is drawn between frequency and voltage so mosfet is the one which has highest frequency so always high frequency application you can have power mosfet but the limitation of um, the mosfet is that it can be used only for low voltage application so if you want to use for high power application as well as high frequency you have to either use rgbt or bjt so the answer is power mosfet next question for power bjt if the base current is increased keeping vce constant so you should know the output characteristics of a power bjt so this is the output characteristics drawn between output current and output voltage so given vce is kept constant so take one particular value of vce you see the graph for a different base current as a base current is increased what is happening to the collector current it is also increasing so ic increases so this figure actually shows a composite switch it means that two devices are connected in series so assuming that the transistor and the diode are ideal what will be the iv characteristics of the switch so we know for a transistor the iv characteristics um, is like this so this is the vi characteristics so for a transistor iv characteristics is um, it will allow the forward current and it will block the forward voltage this is the transistor characteristics if you see the diode characteristics it will allow forward current and it will block the reverse voltage so now these two devices are in series so what happens this device is will be able to block the forward voltage and this diode is able to block this uh, reverse voltage so current is uh, unidirectional so this option is wrong because here current is bidirectional but uh, you have three options you have to choose from so this is diode characteristics this is um, this transistor characteristics so now you have two diode uh, two devices in series so the characteristics is this one so the power electronic devices have a very high efficiency because uh, cooling is efficient devices travels active region at high speed and stays at two states devices never operate in active region devices always operate in the active region so you can easily the discard the uh, wrong one so you will not always operate in the active region is it true that devices never operate in active region that is also false so actually devices are um, uh, operated as a switch and uh, while moving from on to off region it will pass to the active region so this will be the correct answer so when the base emitter junction of a bjt is forward biased while the base collector junction is reverse bias the bjt is said to be in dash region so it is bjt so transistor it has two junctions 
this is base emitter and base collector junction two junction is there you see here one is forward bias the other is reverse biased okay one is forward bias the other is reverse biased it means that the device is in active region okay so you know if uh, junctions are reverse biased no current will flow so that should be the cut off state and if junctions are forward bias current will be flow that should be the on state so ohmic region will not come in bjt it comes in mosfet so answer is active region the same uh, or similar questions when the base emitter junction and the base collector junction are reverse biased as i told earlier both the junctions are reverse biased it means that device should be off when the base emitter junction and the base collector junction are forward biased it means that the device is on okay it's saturation so in which region a transistor acts as an open switch so in transistor you have three regions uh, cut off active and saturation region so in which it acts as a open switch means device is not conducting so no current so it should be off so in cut off region is the open switch region so what will be the closed switch region this one so saturation region is the region in which the transistor acts as a closed switch so this is a composite switch where a transistor is in parallel with the diode so we have seen the transistor characteristics and diode characteristics earlier now you see this combination so current can flow in bi direction here as well as here so you choose the answer mm, this one is wrong so you have three other options now you know the transistor characteristics this is one and diode characteristics it can block reverse voltage and forward current pass forward current so now they are in parallel so what happens this can block this one uh, this transistor can block the forward voltage but this side you see a diode cannot block the forward voltage so this combination cannot block the reverse voltage because a diode uh, if you have some voltage here diode will conduct automatically so cannot um, block this uh, voltage so so this is also wrong because it is four quadrant mm -hmm. so this is the answer the forward safe operating area pertains to operation when the device is so safe operating area is something uh, the region in which you should operate the device so if it is specified forward safe operating area means under forward bias condition what are the limits so the answer should be the device is forward biased a mosfet operates in the dash mode when gate source voltage is less than the threshold value so let us see this graph so it is drawn between drain current and the gate source voltage so mosfet operates in dash mode when gets voltage is less than the threshold value means when it is less than the threshold value this is the threshold value current is zero it means device is off so off cut off mode the mosfet cell embeds a parasitic bjt into its structure is the direct question so which of the following statement is true bjd voltage control device mosfet current control device and some combinations are given so first how do you identify a device is a voltage control device or a current control device so let us see the output characteristics of bjt so it is drawn between 
output current collector current and collector emitter voltage you can see what is here base current so base current is controlling the output current so bjt is a current control device so you have only one choice bjt is a current control device the other one mosfet so if you see the mosfet characteristics what is here gate source voltage so mosfet is a voltage control device so this one is the correct answer the on state resistance of a mosfet dash with increasing vgs so we know mosfet has a on state resistance very high value so it should be low so that the losses will be less so if you see this characteristics drawn between on state resistance and gate source voltage so at low voltages say 4 volts it has a very high value but as i increase the voltage the resistance drops but you cannot increase the voltage beyond the maximum gate source voltage limit so with that uh, you can decrease the on state resistance <coughs> which has the highest value in MOSFET so this is a direct questions so this one is the highest value which device has identical uh, forward bias and safe op reverse bias safe operating area is MOSFET IGBT cell has a parasitic thyristor embedded into it which of the switches can block voltages of either polarity when the device is in the off state so what is asked is so which which device has this type of characteristics okay they didn't so it can block both positive voltage and negative voltage so if you see this transistor uh, transistor has uh, can block forward voltage but cannot block reverse voltage and it has a diode in parallel so you cannot block this reverse voltage so this will not come if you see this combination a transistor can block the um, what is that forward voltage and this diode can block reverse voltage so you will get this characteristics for this combination then thyristor as we know it can block both forward and reverse voltages because unless you apply a gate signal device will not conduct so this has this characteristic same characteristics if you see this combination a thyristor same thyristor in parallel with another diode what happens is this, this diode will not allow you to block the reverse voltage here because uh, it will conduct automatically once the voltage anode is more positive with respect to cathode so this will not come so only these two options are correct so this is the answer from the input side the B IGBT behaves essentially as a so IGBT is a combination of a BGT and MOSFET so input characteristics is this insulated gate is similar to that of a MOSFET so IGBT characteristics input side characteristics is similar to MOSFET and output side it is similar to BGT consider an ideal MOSFET if VGS is equal to 0 then ID equal to so VGS is 0 means ID is 0 for the power semiconductor devices which one of the following statement is true all are majority carrier all are minority carrier IGBT and MOSFET are majority carrier this is wrong actually only MOSFET is a majority carrier device the controlling parameter in IGBT so how to find it out draw the output characteristics so what is this voltage 
so this is the controlling parameter the devices that can carry dc current continuously in the direction shown so you have four options so thyristor cannot current in reverse direction triac can carry in both direction gto cannot carry in two directions mosfet so mosfet actually you have a body diode in parallel okay so it is capable of carrying bidirectional current so triac and mosfet the voltage blocking capability of the igbt is determined by the so in all the power devices voltage blocking capability is decided by the drift layer or the n minus layer introduced that is the difference between the normal signal diode and um, a power device so this n minus layer or the drift layer will determine the voltage blocking capability thank you if you like the video do subscribe to read electric vehicle